Hey, Miss Ben. Elixir, it is good to see you. Have you any news from old Shalian? Do we actually? Uh, we yet to hear from your stroller regarding her search for a means uh, to return to the void. I must confess that her silence has left me feeling restless. We need to find another gate, don't we? Because they closed the last one. Another way in, yeah. Nor am I alone in this. Estonian has such an excess of energy, but he's been helping to train our soldiers with nary a grumble. As for Zero. Oh. How's she been doing? Yeah, what the hell's Zero been up to, man? Here she comes, man. There she is. Our girl Zero. Still looking very pale. Is something the matter? Uh, no, no. Alexander Sophie paid us a visit, so I was apprising him of recent developments, or the lack thereof. And now it's happened, man. Are you heading somewhere? Aye, to replen replenish my ether. She means to eat a go, eat, go eat a bowl of soup or something. Eat something, yeah. <laughs> hmm. She's gonna realize. <gasps> Would you like to come? Yes. Yes. One hundred percent. I'd love to come. Yes, we would. <laughs> In fact, I'm so happy I could cry right now. <laughs> She's leaning. A raven was welcome invitation. Timely too, I might add. I myself was thinking of venturing out into the city. It would be my pleasure to join you. I'm picking up some more spice. May told me to do so before my next visit. She's doing favors with people, man. Uh, Mr. Zero has quite the tolerance, you see. Uh, the sisters know we handish are fond of spicy food, but I doubt any of us could keep up with her. Wow! God damn, with just the spices they normally have on hand, uh, the mayhem can't quite satisfy her. Which is why I'm happy to provide what they need to achieve more rigorous flavors. Yeah, he's making all kinds of money, man. That's why he's mm -hmm. happy. Now then, variety being the spice of life. <laughs> Perhaps <laughs> you choose something extra to blend with Mr. Zero's usual. How about we go for one each? Okay, well, I'm going to go with a little red husk then. Right, now go with the crimson powder. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Three, right. two, one. These tiny red huskies have a citrus like scent. Perhaps they. No! A zesty note! Wow! Okay, uh, mine says bright red in color. This powder is hot to just look at. It will likely induce a healthy sweat when consumed. I mean, that's Select it then, spice. It? That's it, man. She wants spicy, so. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one, zero. Good thing, good thing, good thing. Voice line, voice line, voice line. Oh no, come on man, we need some voice we need some voiced action. I think it's gonna be men. In this music. My usual please. But with this spice. She has a usual man. She's here every day. Replenish Of course, Cyril. Yeah. It would be my pleasure. If she likes spicy stuff. Well now, oh, this is enough to make a whole kettle of your special curry. But the curry. I don't need that much. Rest assured, it's easy enough to make a serving just for you. Or we could make the Look at them all helping out. It. Like to help her just. Yeah, man, they're all, they're all they teaching her, you know. Not only for your companions, but other diners as well. I dare say everyone will be delighted. And it's all because of you, Zero. Very well. Let's go. A full kettle, then. Oh, she said that was some gusto, man. Excellent. Mm -hmm. She's getting it, man. We'll prepare it at once. Yeah. It's like teaching a kid. It's like teaching and a two-year-old to share, Excellency you know. And our esteemed adventurer, are you happy to try a bowl of Zero's curry? We can make yours more I mean... if you prefer. No, we gotta go. We just gotta go all in, man. Grateful though I am for the offer, I cannot fully appreciate the flavor with this vessel. Another oh, time, yeah. perhaps. Oh yeah, he can't taste anything, can he? Amen. Do not hold back on my account, my friend. Eat and enjoy. I mean, if it were me, I'd have it milder, cause I hate spicy food. <laughs> oh man, you gotta go ham. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go for the milder. What a noob. Ready? <laughs> three, two, one, click. I'll take one. Give me a cauldron. Understood. Please make yourselves comfortable. I will thank you very much, Mem Reed. So you trade your spices? Seems rather more complicated than trading in ether. <laughs> Not just spices <laughs> that we trade. In my opinion, laugh. 
This yep. land was no more than refuge for me. But now it is my home, and the people of Radzat Han, my beloved children. Together, we build this vibrant nation, and naught will please me more than to show it to my sister one day. Aww. I hope we can get her back in Vibrant. Oh, Rubicante said the same when he described this world. Man. A reminder of all though, man. that has been stolen from us. What many who remember doubtless yearn to take back. <clears throat> Our home is a lost cause. Our only choice to begin anew. Yeah, this was the struggle, wasn't then. it? Like all the poor In boys this sent. World, where we may reclaim our mortality. Yeah, man. But we can't let them in. It'll cause a calamity. They're all stuck in stasis, though, aren't they? Nonetheless, it's wrong to damn another to save yourself. As I told Rubicante, as I found myself moved to speak. Yeah, I mean, that was a first big breakthrough one. <laughs> mm -hmm. I still do not understand what made me feel this way. Nor what compels you mortals to help one another. But I hope to someday. Oh, you will. If you're around us, you will. We too <laughs> hope that you will find the answers you seek. Well, let's see where the hell we're going, man. We have no idea where the story's going yet, really. Mm. Could go any direction from here, man. Is it the twins? What is going on? What? What's happening? What the? Wait a minute. What is? The... Oh. Right, it's just our. What? What is happening? Compliments of Mistress Zero, the Sartrap's honored guest. We are serving a special curry for anyone who oh. wishes to partake. But be warned, it is not for the faint of heart. Oh my God. I mean, it's just what, a bowl of lava. Contest? Oh, by all means, I'd welcome the challenge. What the hell? It's good damn, it's reds at hand, me. Look at him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Indian you. Sisters have mercy. The smell alone is... <laughs> well, he's, he's trunk watering, man. This guy's, is this guy's fit to keel over, man. Hot? There you go, he's... Oh my god! <laughs> it burns! It burns! <laughs> <laughs> That'll be me. Zerus is gonna literally nibble it. To better yeah. maintain the facade, be the alchemist ensured that my vessel was capable of consuming food. But you can't taste it. However, I fear Zero's curry would test the limits of their <laughs> design. <laughs> we just fall straight through, man. Apologies for the delay. Please relax and enjoy your meal. Oh god. I did go with the slightly. Um, yeah, you went with the mild one, one man. I did go with the mild Relax. one. And mine's a different colour! It's a different colour. I've been waiting for this. Is yours the same colour as She's the hyped, man. She's hyped. Let's replenish our ether. Mine's like an orange colour. <laughs> but she, she's so intense about eating. Mm -hmm. She's like um, a, The time has come, man. Huh? Oh, oh my god, everyone's just flattened. Food coma. Hey, man, I'm okay. I think. I did it. Yeah, me too. <laughs> my whole life flashed before my eyes, and it was exhilarating. We I can should, we'll play. We should. We could play along. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we go to bed. Yeah. Three, two, one. Please. Oh, so you didn't get a different cutscene because of the mild one? No, I didn't. I trust you have eaten your fill. I shall have Marid prepare a meal for us to take to Estinian. I suspect he too is overdue a replenishment. Oh God. By Been this working hour, hard. He will have retired to his chambers at Magaduta. Come, let us pay him a visit. Magaduta. Well, I, don't know, I don't know if he'd appreciate that. Or getting a visit after hours. Yeah, it's yeah. Estonian. He seems like the kind to just want to retire for the night, you know? Mm, yeah. In peace, read a book or something. Yeah. The spicy curry has left you slightly flushed and set your heart racing. Whatever challenges await, you are ready to face them head on and with feeling. Oh my god. Okay. <gasps> it's give us a buff! It, I heard it, it's give us a buff. We got a buff, we what? get a buff. Did we get a buff? We did! We 
Spicy Seiki Lishin. 22. Oh, it doesn't last very long, no? Ah. Warmed but and invigorated by a bowl of hot curry. Mm. By a hot curry. Knock, knock, Steve, knock. Are you there? We've brought something for you. Maybe yeah. we'll be fled out, man. Oh. Enter. Oh, what's up? What's going on in here, Estinian? Things sound, things sound suspiciously oh. rigorous in there. Okay, there we go, man. <laughs> Is it Gaston? Look at the bed. Not even showing off, mate. <sighs> Not showing off at all. Not even showing off, Misala from the Mehane. Mehane! I thought you might enjoy it. Finally! Mehane. Mehane. That's how you pronounce it. Squid masala. masala. Oh. I prefer my squid dried, but I'm sure it won't disappoint. My thanks. Mr. Nian seems in pretty Hi. good spirits, to be honest, doesn't he? Toast, yeah. Idle as I am in our sorceress's absence, I see. I can't offer much in the way of entertainment, but make yourselves comfortable. Thanks. Oh, damn, what's gotten into him? Hello? Is it okay? zero? <laughs> Shall we disrobe as well? <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, bless me, she we'll doesn't know. caught our friend unprepared. He will make himself presentable at once. I'm oh, sure. she doesn't know what to make of it. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Look, is this normal? She's so precious. Oh, God. Disrobe. Oh, my God. That is adorable. All right, team, where are we? Stinian got his ponytail back in. Is this your stall, Sam? <gasps> yes! Oh, Richard! We've been looking for you. Oh, I'd missed them both. Especially yeah, Richard. Really. My friends, tell me. Were you able to devise a way to return to the 13th? I didn't think he'd be back. Or Andrew would figure something out, man. I believe so. It required a visit to the moon, where I took the opportunity to enlist Orionje's assistance. Yay! Of course, man, he's never left. Any chance Thancred's coming back? Ishtola hath told me all. I should be glad to help you free Ashdaya and put an end to Golbez's dark plot. Cool. Orionje's back, man. If Rubicante spoke true, both Golbez and Ashdaya are on the moon of the 13th. Yeah. We guessed that from the trailer. Man. Unlike here in the source, however, we have no means of making the journey from the surface of the star itself. The technology simply does not exist. We have magic. Therefore, I propose that we employ a gate to deliver us directly to our destination. And use the gate on the moon, I assume. Is such a feat possible? I'm just meant. In theory. Oh, wait a sec. Having once been a single hole, the source and its reflections share striking mm. similarities in geography. The moon. Yeah. And according to a certain someone who unceremoniously whisked us away to the first, <laughs> the same locations across the world are intrinsically bound. Like Constance. Mm. All of which is to say, were we to pass through a gate on the source's moon, it should yeah. lead us to the moon of the 13th. Yeah. That makes sense. Okay, okay, all right, all right. I mean, it all sounds so simple, but Gold Bears is waiting for us of there, course. man. There is the risk of Void Scent gaining entry to our world. Thus did I decide to seek Orionje's yeah, counsel. Yeah, we've got to defend the Loperitz on the moon, man. Also, it sounded, like, it sounded like Gold Bez's voice act has changed. The Loperitz are Let's aware see. of our proposed endeavor. While they are yet deliberating precautionary measures, they have pledged their full cooperation. Yay. Of course they have, men. You've been busy. I presume you've also found a way to open this gate. Oh. Yes. Oh, no. Okay, good, good, good. I'm going straight there, then. Be it in Radzat Han or Shalian, scholars have long cast their gaze unto the endless dark of the void. And so, with Harnish insights to augment our knowledge, we have indeed conceived of a promising plan to pierce the veil. 
Mm. A plan I am confident will succeed precisely because the moon is our stage. Confident you stole her. Jesus, man, what's the plan? What's the plan? The preparations will be extensive yeah. and we will require vast quantities of ether. Okay. It's going to have to do with like Zodiac's sure. crater. Our gate must be large enough to accommodate another great worm. It is in it. <gasps> well, well, yeah, it is, but... My proposal entails delivering copious amounts of ether to the Tower of Babel in Garlemald. To power up the, uh... As the, you will recall, Fan Daniel used the structure to destroy the brand's imprisoning Zodiac. Mm -hmm. Right. And we, in like manner, will use it to channel ether to the moon, and thereby open our gate. Yep. Because it's high concentrated I ether see. that opens the gate, right? Then we shall need someone on I the mean. moon for the necessary rituals. I'm just gonna trust in your stall, man. I don't know how these Your things Excellency, work. I intend to head back anon for that very purpose, as well as to help devise our strategy to deal with invading Void Scent. That's Along how it with works. our lunar allies, we will once again require the assistance of your alchemists. Nidana, not least of all. Nidana, Nidana! Nidana, Nidana! May I trouble you to serve as their escort? Do you have been doing one-hand push-ups? The room was beginning to feel constraining. You may need a rest, Ben. For my part, I shall oversee the requisite tasks on the star. Might I prevail upon you for your assistance? Wait, is that us? Nod. Nod. If all are in agreement, then let us set to work. We'll open our gate. And we will stop Golbez. Yes, we will, and save Ashdaya. Golbez. And did you say Arianja's voice actors changed? Now I'm saying Golbez. Sounds like Golbez's oh, right. voice actor might have changed from what Arianches we saw in the trailer. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. Arianja's is definitely the same. But now, what I want to say is, I just wonder where all this is going, man. Because it's like flint with the idea of. Uh... Ooh. It's flirting with the idea of like more shards and stuff like that and exploring other worlds. I just don't know, man. Where do we get in the cutscene here? A Goldberg's cutscene. Let's see. This is almost like a meanwhile on the moon. No. It's, it's, it's been <laughs> dark for too long, man. Did you? My apologies for the delay. Bye. That is a striking simulacrum indeed. Well suited to the work ahead, I doubt not. Has Arianja not seen him like this? I'm not sure. Allow me to explain your shoulder's plan in greater detail. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, man. How are we going to get... Oh, where, where are we going to get the ether from? What preparations? As you know, we seek to open a void gate in Bel Amentorum that we might mm -hmm. gain direct passage to the moon of the 13th. Whilst our comrades labor upon the moon, we must needs accomplish two tasks. The first is the procurement of a substantial quantity of ether, and subsequent delivery of it to the Tower of Babel. Right. Okay, cool. Said structure was once used to siphon the land's essence by the way, or by way of the Telophoroi spires. Such a method, however, doth pose an unacceptable risk to the greater ethereal balance of our world. Thus we must seek an alternate means of conveying our requisite resource. Our second task doth pertain to the use of the Tower of Babel itself. You may recall that this portal unto the moon was placed under the supervision of the Isabard contingent. Yeah. Alfie and Alice. If yeah, we would employ it <laughs> to different ends, we must first obtain the contingent's express permission. And Zero gets to see Eulis again. Hey. I should like to believe they would not refuse us, so perhaps we should concern ourselves with the ether problem first. Have you any idea whence we might source of the vast quantity needed? Yeah, man, we can't exactly just take it from the Ethereal Sea. Do a damn. I'm not going to spoil that. I am. A likely location doth come to mind. Let us make for the airship landing. Blah, blah, blah. I was about to spoil something there, man. I'm about to side raid. <laughs> Gonna keep my mouth shut. Yeah. Not everyone's seen, uh, no, everyone seen everything yet, man. 
All are present and accounted for. Excellent. We shall travel to Shalian and then seek uh, the nearby Isle of Ham. Near unto the surface of this isle, the rivers of ether converge. The churning energy of this confluence is released by the way of geysers. Originally, the Regnorok was to be powered by ether harvested from the isle. But as you well know, an alternate power source was ultimately found for the vessel. Passage unto Ultima Thule to the very limits of existence was facilitated by not less than the strength of the Mother Crystal herself. As such, the Isle of Ham's vast ether deposits remain untouched. We may help ourselves to that energy, provided we are able to secure the Forum's permission. Yet again with needing permission. Is nothing straightforward in this world? <laughs> such is the nature, nature of politics, I fear. Uh, and as the Scions of the Seventh Dawn have been officially disbanded, no longer are we recognized a recognized collective, a somewhat disadvantaged position, bureaucratically speaking. Fortunately, however, there is a, rec a recognized and respected body upon which we might prevail, the students of Baldessian. Upon arriving in Charlian, let us seek our friends at the Annex. Krilly! Krilly, Krilly, Krilly! Let's go, man. Oh my god, I got... Little right, so we're, we're, going to see, we're going to see the twins, because we're going to Garlemald. We're going yeah, back man. to Shalian, which means we might see Raha and Krilly. We're going to get some Krilly action, we're going to get some oh. Raha action. I mean, we're not even going to see um, Thancred, are we? We must see Thancred. It's been too long. It's, it's been, been too long, man. too long. Greetings, Ajika. On this occasion, we have come to seek the student's assistance in a matter of some urgency. In that case, you'll want to speak with Kryle. She's in the main hall, sorting through our archives. You mean There's Krilly? There's a visitor with her at the moment, but it's it's no one you don't know. So feel free to show yourself in. Who is this it? This is gonna be. I'm Pre a guest before we uh, go in. Go, go, go. Wait, wait, wait. I know I it is. I don't know. It'll be Erinville. Why are you spoiling it? You asked me. <laughs> Three, <laughs> Three, two, one. one. Yes. <laughs> I hope it's not Erinville now. Quilly, quilly, quilly. Erinville. It's fucking Erinville. <laughs> God damn it. I do remember seeing an image of him. So. Bloody Aaron Bill. Mm. Oh, I've missed my little Quilly. Little Toad, watch it. Well, now, if it isn't two of my dearest friends. As for the other two, I don't believe we've oh, had Oh, God, the she's pleasure. never seen Zero, right? Oh, God. Oh, She's going to want to study you? Not in mm. this vessel, perhaps. Tis I, Vashan. Though, you are welcome to call me Vritra, if you prefer. A dog. <gasps> Pay me no mind. I merely accompany them. But well, that just makes it even more intriguing. I pray you forgive us our intrusion. If you are occupied, we shall call again anon. It's quite all right. <laughs> We've just finished swapping all our secrets anyway. <laughs> Erinfil occasionally comes oh, and shares Quilly. the latest Gleaner gossip, you see. From forgotten ruins to mysterious relics, if there's aught that might be of interest to the students, he kindly lets us know. Okay. <laughs> Alas, I must soon depart on an Same expedition. Same voice actor. Wow. There you go, man. As I may be away for an extended period, I wish to give Kryle fair warning. Hence my visit today. I see. There are specimens that want for procuring, I presume? No, no. It isn't guildship business, but rather... Hmm? A homecoming. A homecoming? Homecoming. But enough about me. You have business too, yes? And I'm in the way. Don't all of the male Vieira stay away Far from until... Yeah. As a matter of fact, we should be grateful if you could stay and share your knowledge of the nearby isles I was going to say, like, he's got what? We seek a means to travel to the void. <sighs> there, a man named Golbez plots to invade our world. A man who even now holds my sister hostage. Oh yeah, Elrin Vill's listening to this like, Jesus. It's all a bit beyond him, you know. Yeah, what did he say? It was a homecoming. Yeah, man. So uh, they must be all going back to Raktika, maybe. Yeah, man, to for a goddamn... Then, we require a great quantity of ether, which we understand may be had on the Isle of Ham. 
We came in the hope of exploring how it might best be Population procured. Population boost, let's call it. <laughs> yeah, but I want this video monetized, goddammit. An invasion from the 13th. Wait, listen to Crane. Must the stakes always be so dramatic? <laughs> you have a knack for finding trouble. Whoa, whoa, whoa. If gleaners collected world ending crises, you could make quite a name for yourself in our profession. <laughs> It's true the Isle of Ham is a veritable font of ether, but as it's under the forum's direct jurisdiction, only a privileged few get to set foot there. I myself haven't. So if we want to help ourselves to the Isle's ether, we'll need to secure the forum's permission. We should be on our good side now, right? I mean, surely. I know the forum are a bunch of... When she got them uptight, you know, jobs with them. Very well. The students of Baldessian recognize your endeavors as combating a grave threat to the world. As representative, I hereby pledge our full assistance. Let's go. Now that mm. it's official, you may leave the politics and paperwork to me. Our operations remain small, but we shouldn't meet any undue resistance. We are truly grateful. In. Man, I miss my other little potatoes so much as well. <laughs> if I may. Put his hand up. According if to I the may. original plan for the Exodus, Ether collected from the Isle of Harm was to power the Ark. Art thou perchance familiar with the logistics of this endeavor? Hmm. A good question. How are we actually gonna wrangle I don't all that ether? Anything about that, I'm afraid. Nor do I think any cleaner would. You might have better luck asking someone involved with the Ark's construction. Wasn't that like some crazy mechanic guy actually? Margaret, for instance. She's a researcher in Charlene Hamlet. I met with her for a job recently, and she mentioned working on the Ragnarok's propulsion system. You'll excuse me. Thanks, Evan Bill. Bye, Evan Bill. Man. We're gonna go here, research about the engines and the goddamn forums are gonna say no. Let's start drafting our petition. Go on and find your researcher. <laughs> Poor Quilly always gets left behind. You should face it that way, man. Right then, time to put our best foot forward. See, she's fuming. Call her books. Bloody hell. Oh, a pity you can't tidy yourself. I should have had Ishtola enchant you when I had the chance. <laughs> stump, stump, stump. <clears throat> and what have we here? What indeed? Later, Kryl. Later. You've work to do. Whoa, 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 Kryl. No, no, no. That means that that's important. What is that shit? Is it like an envelope or something? Chekhov's letter. Oh my god, it's Chekhov's letter, man. It's fit to explode. Okay. Krilly, Krilly, Krilly. Alright. Visitors? How delightful. If you require, if you require assistance, then ask away. It so happens you've caught me here in post deadline bliss. We should like to know how ether harvested at the Isle of Harm was to be stored and transported to the Ark. Oh, it's no bother at all. We built special tanks that can store ether just like we use uh, we use casks to store wine. Simple, really. Hmm. Simple, but quite brilliant in construction. They rivaled even crystals for etheric capacity. Pity we never got to use them. <gasps> well, we can! On the subject of the ether tanks, do you know what became of them? Just look for the fellow wearing an outfit that screams, I've been on vacation and you haven't. Come, let us seek out this individual attired in a manner suggestive of recent furlough. <laughs> <laughs> does, he, does he have to, man? Of course oh he my does. God. Hey, Sophie, you are attired in quite the uh, vestment today. Uh, down here. Kukul Dankol. Oh, it's Kukul! 
I can fly here. Why was I running? <laughs> <laughs> he was crazy yeah. as hell, wasn't he? The face that launched that teeny tiny boat. How you been, Alexar? Able to catch a bit of rest? Teeny tiny toy boat. Well, you seen? You certainly have. So, why the interest in our little old tanks? It almost sounds like too big of a, like it sounds too big to believe. Mm -hmm. yeah. I see, I see. I think I've got the long and short of it. it goes without saying, but we all owe you more than we can ever repay. If you need our eighth of tanks, then they're at our disposal. There's just one problem. You need the forum's yeah. approval to set foot on the Isle of Ham. We're up to me, you'll be on the next ship out. But that lot can't wipe their asses unless it's in accordance with procedural motions. Video demonetized because of Kakol Dankold's dialogue. <laughs> Thanks, meat. Oh, you may be assured that my backside, blah, blah, blah. Well, I, I missed what he said. Whoa, Jesus Christ. That looks something thighs. You uh, must emotional. And skull like mon Oh, yeah, I'm good at man. Mm -hmm. what, a, what a surprise. Pardon the intrusion. The forum has deliberated your petition, and we've decided to deliver our verdict directly. Well, the happy muse explains, so... You've been granted special disp uh, special dispensation to travel to the Isle of Ham for the purposes of etheric extraction on one condition. On account of its rich deposits of ether, the Isle is home to throngs of vicious beasts. We ask that you cull any such creatures you encounter. That's all? Given the, given the vast amount of ether we seek, I expected a, fi a far higher price. Oh, believe me, we do not underestimate the value of what you desire. Just become Deckard Kane all of a sudden. Nay, we simply owe the shoots of Baldessian and their esteemed collaborators a debt of gratitude. And we felt that ex expediting your request was a suitable way to repay it. <laughs> a debt of gratitude. Yes, there's <laughs> something else we need to teach you. We have taken the liberty of arranging your passage to the Isle of Ham. Your vessel awaits in Scholar's Harbour. Seems the forum is uh, like Alice here. They, keep, they help others simply because they want to. Well, I don't know if it's uh, quite like that with the forum. Like, they just doors. They just doors. She just doesn't understand the debt of gratitude, you know? To expect. Uh huh, uh huh. Nod. If you're ready to depart, then so am I. Just say the word. It's a dungeon. Let's go. Yeah, man, look at this little, this little trust party that we got. Is something the matter? What is the matter? I recruit one other to our party, but he is late to arrive. Thancred. Thancred. Fanny boy. Come on, Thancred. No oh, man, he's already on the boat, isn't he? Oh. Yay! <laughs> I thought he's already gonna be on the boat. Like, ha. Huh. Forgive me my delay. Lamal. Oh, you, you, fine, fine. It is good to see you. <laughs> Has he seen Big Vashan's uh, vessel? Can't remember. If it isn't Vashan, <laughs> they do grow up so quickly. <laughs> <laughs> them dem vessels. Orianje tells me we have a host of exciting new tribulations to face. Yeah. And you must be Zero. I've heard all about your mm. daring do in Garlemald. A pleasure. Hey, hey. Hat tip. Bow the hat. She like goes, man, she just nods. Apart from strengthening our company with his redoubtable skill at arms, Thancred may also serve oh. as a mentor in those matters that trouble thee. <laughs> in what regard? Something about not understanding debts, maybe? I speak of the intangible forces which bring souls together. Oh, Thancred right, okay. is possessed of experience, both unique and insightful, that I am sure he would gladly share with thee. Thou needst but ask. No pressure on Thancred there, Oriangemin. <laughs> He's got to prepare a speech right now. Okay, man. Here we go, man. I almost Aether the Reservoir to... unlocked. Aether font. Aether font. Ooh, I was quite close. <laughs> if I got that on point without even knowing, that would have been incredible. Yeah. I would remember that moment for the rest of my life. Right. Oh, pretty. Come on, man. Oh my god, the penguins. This is where they're going to be, man. Oh, I don't oh see polar penguins. bears. Polar bears. 
Whoa. Ice creature. No, but they want us to kill these things. I don't want to kill the polar bears. No, man, we're just killing the big goddamn savage beasts. Those things. Ah, right, okay. Whoa. Oh, God, I hate the goddamn bagpipe music, man. Yeah, it's dead relaxing. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Sliding ice. Very, very kind of the ice there to slide into our pet. Nice convenience. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my god. What is this thing? Okay, man, it's just an absolute. It's like an axolotl, but just mental. What on earth is that? It's a good damn creature from the Black Lagoon, man, is what it is. Yeah. Treasure. Is it just all uh, thingies? Oh, it's like a healer one. Oh my god. Whoa. The penguins are fuming, man. Don't let them fool you. Oh my god, this is a long ass zip line. Is, we can actually it? look around, man. Yeah, we can. We got ruins. In oh my god, look at the Great Valley. Yeah. That's cool. Got man. them little foot down there, man. <laughs> oh, he's in a bus. We got Ak is the. Uh, I don't even know, man. Kind of looks like Volibear. It does actually. It looks a bit like Volibear, yeah. Got some Volibear action gun. Lightning Rampage. Oh! Am I safe here? Oh my god, man, that was close. Oh! How? I, I don't understand. Holy crap! It was shockingly hard to dodge. Got him gone, dude. Easy game, man. Whoa. Oh, wow. Okay, dude. Alright, man. But this looks stupendous. Oh no, it's not one that comes out the water. Oh, it is. Man, look at all the platforms, yes, man. The platforms, yeah. Oh, I don't like bo bosses that can't do goddamn water, man. They've always got weird old mechanics. Look. You have to watch where its tentacles are positioned, down you? That's what yep. it's going to be, man. Oh my god, man, he pulled, he pulled. Octo stroke. Oh. Where are they going to hit? I'm just going to stand here and hope for the best. Yeah, there's no tentacles here, man. We should be good, right? Easy game. Okay, his tentacles are probably good to go down again now, so I'll be. Oh, telekinesis, what? He he's pulling things. Are we fine here? I don't know. Uh, things are going to, like, slam down. And I think we're just fine here. Uh, I don't know, I'm just going to stay here, man. Oh! Oh God! Oh, this bit! Oh! Uh. Oh my! Oh, I'm dead. At least I got quit up before I died. Oh! Uh. Lilith's in trouble, by the way, so you might have to res me. Oh, no, I'm hoping to God that he that he uses the res, man. Okay, there it is. Yeah, I, gotta, I, gotta, I just don't want to waste my swift cast. That's all. What the hell? I, I I can't LB him. Yeah, I, I couldn't tag him LB there for some reason, man. It's like an AOE on the ground, right? But... Oh, you couldn't pull it up. Yeah, man. Hmm. Maybe I just, like, misclipped it or something. I don't even have a keybind anymore, man. My keybind's disappeared for it. But them guys are of pure etheric wow. energy. And here comes the mad lad. Mm -hmm. Much obliged for clearing the way. We'll get to work at once. And it's very echoey in here. It is. Oh, the crystal bouncing. Nod. Get to work. This is crazy. I remember this accent. I will take a good while. I appreciate it if you stood watch till we finished. We would need them transported to Galamo. To yeah. the Tower of Babel. Galamold? Like, where that's exactly? Uh, that's a long old journey. Too long for a direct flight. It's not like Kugane. Tell you what, we'll send them <laughs> over right, with the okay. scheduled shipment of provisions headed that way. I'll make the arrangements as soon as we get back. Save some poor chocobos having to drag this lot through the snow. Through the snow? You have our thanks. We shall not forget your generosity. 
<laughs> there it is again, man, that debt of gratitude. Yep. Zero's there listening like, hmm. They're all at it. Everything seems to be proceeding apace. I dare say you would have been fine without me. Oh no, thank Rid. I'm not sure about that. I've missed you too much. Why did you say such a thing? <laughs> you were not bound by contract or the threat of force. <laughs> and you gain no advantage by devaluing your own contribution. <laughs> Yet you must be we bound need to teach by sarcasm. someone to speak thus. What is it? <laughs> hmm. What binds me? Hmm. This is an interesting question when you think about it. Mm. A belief, I suppose. Born of our shared struggles. No matter where my comrades go, I have faith they will be fine. For I know that they will walk their chosen path as surely as I walk mine. I trust them. In short, trite though it may sound. <laughs> Everything's a revelation. Trust. I remember the word. How long has it been since last I used it? It had no place in my dealings. Not with other voids and, and certainly not with Xenos. Not even in the time before darkness engulfed the world. <laughs> Full often did memoriates betray their own. Corrupted by the very power they wielded. You could trust no one but yourself. Alone we fought. And alone we fell. I wouldn't know how to trust. Is there some trick to it? <laughs> <laughs> no trick, just over time, I guess. Just stay close to this one. You'll learn in no time. Whoa, 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 men! Put mm -hmm. the pressure on us. Absolutely fine. <laughs> <laughs> I confess I thought thou mightst have more words of counsel to offer. <laughs> oh, she'll soon. I think it was impactful. It, even without my help. <laughs> you just overly over listening, man. You drop it. I'll see myself back to the shadows. No! Stay. But before that, I, take I like it when you everyone's together. Well. Indeed, what the, what? the client seeketh archons, and twould seem our extensive travels and neutrality make us prime candidates. What for what? Well, assuming we take on the request, I suspect I'll be stuck with you again. Don't let me down. Hmm? Ooh. What on earth? We need everyone together. The client seeking the Archons. Mm. Aren't the Archons the goddamn Essians? Or am I no. just like crazy as hell? The, like, um, Thancred's, Thancred's an Archon, Rianche is an Archon, Yastol is an Archon. So what am I thinking with the... Oh, Paragons. Paragons. Right. Yeah, I'm thinking of the think goddamn good. Paragons, man. Yeah. So many nymphs for so many different things. Mm. Here the zero I will not by simply staying close to you oh. when I really learned about trust. <laughs> yeah. Zero straight yeah, and narrow, yeah. isn't she? A refreshing contrast to our more uh circuitous company. Sorry, go on. I was gonna say, um it's the uh isn't it a Charlian title, Archon? Yeah. It's the Mac, right? Uh I think Thankwood's got it on his neck. Yeah, now you see it. Yeah. I remember Do not only allow us Oh. To not only allow us use of the tanks, but to arrange the transportation to Garlemal besides. 
Blessed are we to Count Krakol among our allies. And to thee we must also give thanks, Thancred, for coming to our aid in such short notice. Please, you know I'm always happy to help. Don't hesitate to call on me again. Till next time. He's gone. I, like, I, I like it when everyone's together, man. I know, man. It's been too long. Like, I, I literally I, I so freaking miss Tataru. Like, Did you? it's unreal. But at least we we have, like, Tataru's Grand Endeavor thing that we can do, you know? Yeah. I miss Raha, but then we had a little bit with, in the midst of the realm with Raha. So it wasn't too bad. Tancred's yeah. been, like, away for a while. Okay, arrange it. Yep, arrange it for you, do one click. And three, two, one, except. With the tanks' transportation thus arranged, our first task is complete. We now we may now turn our attention to the second. To wit, obtaining the blessing of the Ilsabad contingent to use the Tower of Babel to channel energy unto the moon. Our destination is Camp Broken Glass, where we may present our petition to Commander Lucia. I mean, I trust Lucia. Like, it's not even gonna need to be a petition, is it? I wonder if it'll always be called Camp Broken Glass. I want to sweep the glass up and change his name. <laughs> Let's go, man. TP. Oh, I'll follow your TP. Twins! The twins! The twins! The goddamn twins, man. Eulis will be here as well. Get yeah, some man. We don't have long to go, don't need to stop recording, lovely. Still can't fly in this area though, god damn it. Oh, Maxima still here too, cool. Maxima. Oh my god, man, Orange is in his winter jacket. Yeah, everyone comes in their winter stuff when they come here. I'm okay, I think. Right, Lucia, Lucia. Yep. Three, two, one, Lucia. Lucia, Lucia. Oh. Voice acting, or am I gonna read? Oh, I'm gonna read, okay. Probably read. It is, it's the thingy. Alanis, Elixir, allow me to personally thank you for your assistance during the recent voice and incursion. Your actions saved many. Oh, it was nothing. What brings you here today? I'll tell you what. Pray forgive, forgive us for not sending word in advance, Commander, but we seek your cooperation in a matter of great import. We're just going to shoot the moon. With a goddamn <laughs> weapon of mass a destruction. Laser beam. <laughs> yeah, man. A freaking laser beam. Indeed. We appreciate you consulting with us instead of taking unilateral action. Maxima looks concerned. It is no simple matter to activate the Tower of Babel, and I speak not only of the technological challenges. Personally, I think we must consider the emotional impact of such an action above, every, every, above all else. <laughs> yeah, man, it's a bit mm. crazy, isn't it? Pending a more official name, we refer to those who remain here as the Garlean community. As you would expect, they are predominantly na uh, native Garleans, most of whom are uncomfortable with ethereal manipulation. Yeah, man, the, the goddamn little muggles then. <laughs> to compound matters, the trauma inflicted by Anima is still fresh. If the tower was to suddenly light up again, it is the... Uh, it, it is like to cause distress and reopen old wounds. Fair point. Better that than facing mass invasion by Golbez and his void sent hordes, surely. <laughs> of course, we acknowledge the gravity of the situation, as well as the promised bloodshed that uh, should we fail to act. However, even were we to convey your warning to the public, many simply do not understand the workings of magic or the rift. They will struggle to comprehend why they must be forced to relive personal horrors for the sake of something they cannot imagine. He speaks the truth. What's there to imagine? Haven't these people seen Void Sent with their own eyes? Oh god. <laughs> Let us suppose you encounter someone who is freezing in this cold. A natural thing to do might be to make them a fire, yes? He's a fire. 
But what if that person's sole experience with fire was being badly burned by it, and they harbored an acute fear? Despite the benefits, nay, the necessity of the warmth you offer, they may flee on instinct. Of course, or worse, misinterpret your actions for aggression and lash out. So like the fire that torments this individual, the Tower of Babel torments the people of Garlemald. Yes, we cannot afford to falter here. We must find a way to help them overcome their fear. Hmm. I agree. To that end, the contingent will assist however we can. Where's Alfie and Alice, man? They know what to do. Yeah, they will. There we go. We should speak with Alfino and Alice. With the rapport they have with, established with the Galian people, I dare say they can provide us with valuable insights. And I agree. Mostly just because I wonder if we can hear their voices again. In the meantime, Uriangir, may I ask you that you remain here to oversee the technical aspects of the tower's activation? Maxima no de way. <laughs> Probably. Where's a goddamn Tidofroy when you need one, man? Choose what to do. Why would we need the Telophoroi? I don't know what it is. that goddamn tower? Do you? Right. No, not really. <laughs> We're just gonna go in there and press all the buttons and hope yes. for the best. Oh, hang on, we can TP. Oh, yeah, what the hell are we doing, man? I him. Right. Stop. I'm and gonna do it. That. 